Hi friends, in the spirit of today's video, I think it's only appropriate we kick things off by making everything harder than it needs to be. route into the kitchen because that is the essence of what we will be doing here today with Troom Troom. For those of you who don't know, Troom Troom produces DIY videos that once upon a time were standard and quote unquote normal, but in more recent years their DIY content has taken a bizarre and unusual turn that has earned their channel over 4 billion views and over 13 million subscribers. 13 million. I don't even have that many friends. <laughs> Shit, the fuck up. Both Danny Gonzalez and Simply Nailogical have made several videos trying Troom Troom's crafts and pranks and now I am going to try Troom Troom's beauty tips. Because I stumbled across 13 beauty tips you have to try right now. What happens if I don't try them right now? I, I, I'm not gonna find out because I'm gonna press play right now and have my life change forever. That's a funny way to spell difficult. My face needs some attention during a long walk. Of course it does, because whose face doesn't need attention without warning? It's like, oh, would you look at the time? These stupid sleeves are in the way of my watch. It's face time. It's the perfect time to take out my special foundation pads. One might argue that right in the middle of the walkway is not the time or place for face wipes, but first rule of Trim Trim Club is to not question Trim Trim Club. Let's get started. Cover oats with hot water and let them cook. We let them sit overnight. Overnight? What the heck? I should have done this yesterday to have them ready for today then. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I did. It actually took me two attempts because I found a way to screw up a recipe as complicated as hot water and oats. Here is my first attempt. As you can see, the oats soaked up all of the water <laughs> that I put I, that is just so many oats. I don't know what I was thinking, to be perfectly honest. Want some dinner? No. Happy to report that I did get it right on my second try. I am tempted to lean the mug towards you so you can see the water, but I know that that will only end in me getting splash. Pour the liquids from the oats into the container and dip cotton pads into it. This is where it gets really exciting because I am now going to add oat water to my glass jar. We are all on the edge of our seats. Slight spillage, but that went better than I thought it would. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's soaking it right up. To make sure every wipe got soaked, I also decided to add oat water to the tippy top. And voila, Trim Trim's first beauty tip. Let's test it out. First impressions, this is wet and slimy. It has a similar texture to a snail and everything inside me is telling me to not put this on my face because I spent a good amount of time on my makeup, but Trim Trim knows best. Oh, that's nice. It's kind of soothing, kind of relaxing. I get it. Let's see if it has a smell. Not really, I'm not really picking up any notes of oats. <laughs> oh, Dee just got back home from the gym. Hey Dee. Hey. I have something for your sweaty little face. What is it? I made from scratch oat water cotton pads. Well, I'll tell you something. <laughs> yeah? My face really wanted attention. <laughs> Moving on to beauty tip number two. Hopefully it doesn't look like a number two. There are so many lipsticks in this world. How am I supposed to choose a color that looks good on me? You can apply all the lipstick colors at the same time, but I will look like a clown with a hangover. <laughs> this speaks to me because as a clown with a hangover, I understand completely. This is not the effect I wanted. It's great that I've got a hand that can be turned into a canvas. 
Hey M. Hey D. I thought the perfect lipstick shade is the same color as your nipple. Oh my gosh, that is so true. Where is that in Troom Troom's beauty tips? <laughs> I actually tested this um, little hypothesis a while ago. Uh, as you can see, it is 100% correct. But let's hear Troom Troom out. I'm sure that they have some other helpful tips when it comes to your nips. I mean lips. But Redhead knows a quick method to check if a lipstick looks good on you. <coughs> Her name is Redhead? The Redhead's name is Redhead. Say no more. D, your new nickname is Dark for Redhead. I accept. Screw out the lipstick and put it near your lips with your hand stretched out slightly. Look into the mirror and check it out. If there is no mirror, Ask your friend to give you an honest opinion. Bro, groundbreaking. I wonder what other life situations I can apply this brilliant beauty tip to. Can't decide what to wear? Simply hover your article of clothing above your torso. That's it. That's the tip. That's the whole tip. All right, dark brunette head. There's only one right color. Which one is it? I vote... So in that hand, it's going to be the one on my left. Yes. That's I have a favorite. feeling this is Mont Blanc. It's Mont it's Blanc. Like, yeah, that was my favorite, yes. <laughs> this is literally her favorite lipstick that she wears all the time. Thank you so much for your expertise. I just wanted to give you my honest opinion. <laughs> to whip out my nipple for that one. <laughs> it's crazy. Not this time. Not this time. Dolly has something to brag about too. Her, wait, her name is Dolly? How did Redhead get a name like Redhead, but Dolly is just Dolly? That would make your name Molly. I love that. After watching Troom Troom's videos, I feel like I'm on Molly. <laughs> That's not true. That was a joke. I've never done drugs. I don't think I can handle them. <laughs> Pour in some coconut oil. Cut up a white lip liner and add it. I don't have a white lip liner, but I do have a white eyeliner, and it just so happens to be broken, so that is very convenient. Melt the mixture in a double boiler and mix it. I had to look up what that was. I have never double boiled before, and so my confidence in that area is lacking, but I'm excited to learn in front of all of your eyeballs. Chop face paint sticks and melt them in a double boiler too. And add the mixture of coconut oil and lip liner to it. Now I'm going to get a cup and I'm going to heat up some water. Do not talk to me until I've had my morning nipples. You all know the rules. And get this double boil, <laughs> get my double, get my double boiler ready. So I was going to go with pink, but at the last second I chose blue just to keep us on our toes. This color is kind of gorgeous, and I don't have a color that looks anything like this lipstick, so this is kind of exciting. So once my mixture cools down, I'm going to transfer it into this cute little plate, and then I think I'm gonna have to pop it into the fridge and hope that it eventually becomes a solid. In the meantime, let's get into our next beauty tip. It is 5.23 a.m., and I am just getting started. Dolly finds colorful ice in the fridge. <laughs> That's funny, I usually keep my ice in the freezer. Oh, it looks like someone's throwing a cocktail party. But Redhead is up to something different. This is a special ice toner for your face. Brew hibiscus tea. Cover oats with hot water and let them cook and brew green tea. Let it sit and pour the liquids into an ice mold. The cold ones with the boys. <laughs> Let's crack one open. I am actually very excited about this beauty tip because I am a fan of freezing things into ice cubes. Let me show you. <laughs> These are my coffee cubes and they are life changing because as they melt in your coffee, your coffee doesn't get watery. It gets coffeeier. And this has nothing to do with anything, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them back. Rub your face with these frozen infusions. The green ice calms your skin down and helps to get rid of dark circles. Ooh, it smells like I wanna eat it. Oh, oh my gosh, it's cold. <laughs> I, don't I don't like it, it's far too cold for my taste. My little fingertips are going to fall right off. Once more for good measure. <laughs> there 
there she goes. The red ice is a toner for your skin. <gasps> oh my gosh, it looks like I just got the vampire facial. I hope this doesn't stain. Oh good, it is just sliding right off. Thank you, setting spray. <laughs> Thank you so much. And the white oat ice has an anti-inflammation effect. It also makes your skin matte. Oh, it's all for the name of science. I'm applying it just straight to my T-zone. Right now it's looking more shiny because of the wetness, but we'll just let it dry. Feeling like a wet sewer rat. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed. Not with the ice cubes, but with how well my makeup held up during all that. Take her swimming on the first date, who? Does my face look less shiny? Let, let, did I say less shiny? <laughs> Judging by the shine on my face, I'm gonna go with no. Redhead notices some oily shine on her face. No one wants an oily selfie. I need a blotting product right now. I mean, didn't we just, <laughs> didn't we just do this with the oat water ice cube that was supposed to mattify my face? This is them owning up to it. They're like, okay, we admit the oat water ice cube wasn't our best idea to remove face shine, but here is how we have a plan B. Cut parchment paper and blot your face with it. The oily shine is gone. The only thing that shines in Redhead Selfie is her eyes. Wow! Cute! Unlike in my video where I cooked for myself for the first time, this time I have parchment paper. I never would have thought that my first time using parchment paper would be for my face, but then again, I didn't see myself using it for cooking either. Alrighty, there's only one way to put this to the test. Oh man, I think I just fell asleep. <laughs> oh no. Well, as you can see here, we do have some makeup on the parchment paper, but there are no see-through oil spots that you get when using traditional oil absorbing sheets. And so that tells me that this just took off my makeup and left my oil behind. Dolly wants to brush her long, dark hair. But someone else has obviously used her brush. Beauty Court accuses Redhead of not taking her hair off someone else's brush. But avoiding this is so easy. This is my face while watching this. Wrap a brush with a wipe and make holes with the teeth. Tie a knot at the back. <laughs> oh my gosh, I would be so offended if my friend dragged me into her room, sat me down and said, Listen up, you dirty girl. If you're going to use my hairbrush, you better strap on a cleansing wipe because I don't want your dirty little hairs mingling with mine. This is a lot to ask, Dolly. And quite frankly, I think you're being unreasonable. Are we just supposed to ignore that using a cleansing wipe on our hair is going to make it damp, aka frizzy? I am now trying to stab the hair hair bristles into the cleansing wipe, and I can already tell that I'm gonna be here a while. There are much larger holes forming. Oh man, do you think that she's gonna mind if one of my hairs seeps through the cracks? Do you think that if she found another blonde hair in her brush that I'd come home to find it taped to a post-it saying something super passive aggressive like, I think you left this in my hairbrush. Alrighty, I'm going to now tie this off like a little ponytail. You know what that looks like? like it looks like in Shrek when Fiona grabs the spider web and goes through the flies this looks like the spider web drumstick already time to run this through my curls that I also spent a long time on hmm my hair doesn't feel as damp as I would have expected it to but I think that's only because I spent so long pushing this wet wipe into the brush that my hands collected most of the moisture. And it looks like I collected a whole three blonde hairs so that my friend didn't have to. Worth it. Want to make a nice high ponytail quickly? Then use this next life hack. Take a rubber band and two bobby pins. Why a rubber band? Why not just a regular hair tie? Put the bobby pins onto the rubber band and tie it around a high ponytail. Fasten the bobby pins under the ponytail. I'm gonna get my hair ponytail ready. 
and the rest is just one big shot in the dark. How do you maneuver when you have to hold your, I don't, I don't get it. I do not get it. I need a third hand. Ow, a bobby pin got caught in my hair. I brought it around town. Now I'm going to stab my ponytail with this bobby pin. Okay, okay. Oh my God. Hair tour. I'm shocked. I can't believe this one worked. All I did was not know what I was doing the entire time and then somehow it all worked out in the end. Sums up my entire existence so far. <laughs> it just made my hair grow 10 sizes too big. Redhead is going to have breakfast. Wow, fried eggs smell so delicious. But Dolly ruins her breakfast plan. She needs salt right now. Uh, excuse me, bitch. <laughs> what the heck? Why does Dolly think that her salt needs are more of a priority than redhead salt needs? Grate natural soap into an empty face powder container. Add a few spoons of finely ground salt. Mix it. Dolly comes back to the kitchen in Amazonian war paint. What is that on her face? Boyfriend repellent? <laughs> One could say that redhead is getting a little salty. <laughs> Uh, this product is a scrub that helps to get rid of small pimples. It's made from natural ingredients. Natural soap. <laughs> no other instructions beyond that. So I went ahead and got creamy coconut soap. Soap and salt as a face scrub. That's it. That's it. This feels pointless and stupid. Is a face scrub supposed to make you feel defeated? <laughs> See those little remnants? <laughs> Redhead wants to change her look. Should she start with her hair? And what if I take a risk and try getting bangs? Oh, the maybe I should get bangs thought is such a slippery slope. Unless you have bangs, then they are beautiful and delicious. You are so hot with those bangs. It's 6.41 a.m. <laughs> getting bangs without thinking it over is not the best idea. Dolly offers a compromise. Let's see if bangs look good on you without using scissors. What the heck? Where did that bobby pin come from? She just pulled it from behind her ear like a mess. What the heck? Take a bobby pin. Pin a strand of hair on top so that the ends make bangs. Hide the pin under a bright headband. Adjust the ends with a flat iron. I have no idea where she got these bangs from. Did she grab hair from the, the sides of her head or from the back of her head? Trim Trim, where is my how-to tutorial? I'm just gonna go with the front-ish of my head because that's where you would get your real bangs. I'm trying to grab the bottom pin from the rubber band. I'm gonna grab the hairs that I pinned back and bring them around town. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Um, don't know what to do about that situation. It is completely unclear to me in the video what they do. And so I am gonna do my own beauty tip and just pop my hand right on top of my head. And there we go. Just a girl with bangs that are very ticklish and kind of itchy. And there we go. Now all that's left to do is try my lipstick that is going to come for all of my Kylie lip clips. It is sheer, but it is also there. <laughs> I taste soap. Oh, it really tastes like soap. I'm just gonna ignore the taste in my mouth. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much Trim Trim for always answering the questions that nobody really ever asked. <laughs>
wrapped up the video and then instead of going to bed like a normal person, I decided to just start applying more lipstick. It is much more pigmented this time around. Not sure why. Just wanted to show it to you. Thank you and good night. I'm gonna go to bed. No, I'm not. <laughs> yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Good night.